With a fanatical offering, you know. That is another two here. Oh, oh, starving revenant out of freaking nowhere. Oh, my lord. That was everything I want a mono black deck to be. We're back in a bigger freaking diamond. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you also very much for tuning in on this beautiful Black Saturday. Oh, yes, as you might have seen in the thumbnail already, the master of Mono Black is back. People were wondering, is there a good Mono Black deck in the new meta, you know? There's a lot of dinosaurs, there's a lot of things, but yes. Yes, there is. There is one very good Mono Black deck, and I will be showcasing it today but before we get into that i want to thank you also very freaking much we're not even 500 people away from the 27k so yeah maybe some of you haven't done so already and you could just smash that subscribe button to become part of the maloniacs i would appreciate it very freaking much but enough with the yammering let's get into the master is back hammering here it is my friends the newest version of mono freaking black let's put this one over here so that we can see what the lands do all right so what are we doing we're playing mono black descent and descent is pretty good if you do it right like for example you have the terror type that gives all creatures minus x minus x your x is the number of permanent cards in your graveyard this includes land so if you have a field of ruin in your graveyard you know Sacrificing it to destroy one of their lands. Now you have one permanent more. This also triggers descent. Like not the whatever this is, Fathomless Descent, that you also like, you know, have here, Fathomless Descent. Um, but it also triggers descent. Like for example, for the new card that I want to use here. Corpses of the Lost. Actually underrated card. It is not the best skeleton card ever made. That is still skeletal swarming. But it is still pretty darn tasty. This plus skeletal swarming, mm -mm. So skeletons you control have plus one plus oh and have haste. This is not legendary, so you could have two of them. So if you have both of them out, they have now plus two plus oh and double haste. It's better than normal haste. <laughs> and well, just a battlefield to make one of these suckers here. One of these little skeletons. It's a two-two pirate, and it's very very good. And at the beginning of your end step, if you descend it this turn, that is what I'm talking about with the field of ruin. You can freaking return this to your hand and, you know, play it again next turn. You pay one life for it, but it's just fair. So you will have infinite freaking skeletons. I thought about other ways to use this card, but this is the best way to use this card. So remember, Descent only cares about permanent cards. Tokens don't freaking matter. But if you discard, for example, something, you also Descent. So how are we discarding or sacrificing stuff from our battlefield Souls of the Lost? This is so good, because when you cast it, you have to, like, you know, sacrifice something or discard a card. So you can discard a land, for example, you know, and then this will also trigger descending. So very, very darn freaking good. And even has this little pickaxe over here. So descend gets triggered with this. What else get it get triggered with? Well, fanatical offering. You could sacrifice, for example, your greedy freebooter, the Maloney Pirate of the Century. So this is like Shambly Boy vibes, you know? Not really, but you have the greedy freebooter. You sacrifice the fanatical offering. That will also trigger the course of the Lost. That will also give you one more for the Fathomless Descent. So we're good. It will also give you a treasure, which is super darn good. Because that means that you can have a turn three, for example, Sheldred. We just have, it's just needed. I, I tried without the Sheldred. Every game I had the Sheldred I won. All the games before, the deck just missed some little spicy sauce. And here it is, a Sheldred. So, having a turn three Sheldred, never bad, you know? So that is something that you can do. You can always sacrifice one of your other creatures, like for example, the Vampire that you get with the Fanatic, uh, with the Preacher of the Schism. But remember, that will not trigger Descent. So, don't you think that you can just sacrifice your tokens and just descend every single turn like that? So, Preacher of the Schism draws you a card if you have the most life. And if not, or if you're tied for it. And if not, if you attack the one with the most life or tied for it. So, if you're both the same life total, that is pretty good. You get a vampire and a card, which is pretty darn freaking good. Other ways to trigger the descent? 
bit of triumph. You discard the land. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now you trigger the descent here. Very darn freaking good. So, what else do we play as new cards? Well, Preacher of the Schism is one of the cards that I like to play. And a card. Totally underrated. The Starving Revenant. When this enters the battlefield, you survey two. So, if you put a permanent card now in a graveyard, that triggers descent. Very darn tasty. And uh, then you can choose. For each card you keep on top, you draw a card, and you lose three life. But if you have to shatter it out, that is only one life. So that is very darn good. And once you're on descent eight, which is not that hard to get with this deck, whenever you draw a card, now each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. You gain three life if you have to shatter it. And that is just very darn freaking tasty because, you know, having eight things in your graveyard, not that freaking hard. So, what else are the new cards? Aglazots, the Deepest Betrayal. Why do we play it? Well, one-off, because it's kind of our top end, but also very, very good to come back, you know? It's a 4-4 with Flying and Lifelink. And whenever it attacks, each opponent discards a card. And, uh, you know, whenever... So this is not only, not only when it attacks, but each opponent can draw, you can to draw a card. So if you, like, attack, and they cannot discard something, you draw a card. But... Whenever your opponent discards a land, whenever, doesn't matter when it is, they can even like cycle a land, you know, one of these uh, uh, channel lands that we have like right now, you know, with the uh, deal for damage, destroy permanent, Boseju, you know, stuff like that. That is also discarding a land. You will get a bat. A bat. <laughs> I still pointing in the wrong direction. You will get a bat. Just like this one, right here. Easy peasy. And when it dies, you return it as the land, and then you have a land more, and you can just flip this if your opponent or yourself has less than one, uh, one or less cards in hand. So that pairs very well with the Liliana, because we discard something, they discard something, that triggers the descent, and we, you know, attack in once more. Like, if they have one card left in hand, we make them discard with the Liliana, we attack in with the Aglazots, and then, you know, they have no cards, we draw a card very, very darn freaking good. So... Creatures that we're playing is the Greedy Freebooter, Souls of the Lost, Preacher of the Schism, Gix. Actually, Gix is making a comeback here because, you know, if you have a big creature, they don't want to block it, you draw a card for it. If you attack with the Death Toucher, you draw a card for it, you know? Very darn freaking good. Uh, Shattered, of course, the Starving Revenant and Aglazots. That is why 3 Virtue of Persistence is no overkill in here, because there's a lot of creatures on turn 2 that you can destroy with this. Even if it's their turn 3, I still think there's a lot of creatures that you can get rid of this. Like, you know, a Graveyard Trespasser, their own gigs, this Dinosaur that costs 3, you know. All of that jazz, you can just get rid of it. You can get rid of their Mana Dorks and all of that. But we can also get rid of the Mana Dorks with this. And with this, you know, if they play on turn 2 something, we are on the, on the play, we play this on turn 3, bam, shabam, they're freaking donezo. And then later on, you just return all of your stuff. Just remember, if you return a creature from the battlefield, and it's your graveyard that you're returning it from, Descent will get smaller, the Fathomless Descent, just so you know. Also, these two, best team ever created. You have three Souls of the Lost out, the Terror Tide, you wipe their board, but your Souls of the Lost will forever survive because they have plus one. So keep that in mind that you won't lose them. Another sauce that we have in here for the Descent is, first of all, the Hidden Necropolis. You sacrifice this, you discover four, but only as a sorcery, and the Hostile Hostel. <laughs> I just wanted to try it. I really, really wanted to try it. And, you know, that is, um, that is just what it is. <laughs> that is just what it is. Absolutely wanted to try it, because with this you can sacrifice a greedy freebooter, you know, and once you have, uh, how many, three or more soul counters on it, you flip it to the creeping in and untap it. Now you have a 3-7, uh, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard, if you do, it, your opponent loses X life, you gain X life, where X number of creature cards exiled with creeping in. Every time it attacks. So... That means first it's one, then it's two, then it's three, and with the creeping in, you always can phase out, which is also kind of crazy. And Takenuma, of course. So that is all I have to say for today. Uh, it's been a very, very long intro, but there's a lot of stuff. Oh, we also have like a duress, you know, works very well with Aglazots, works very well with, uh, with Liliana, so yeah. And with this, by the way, you can also sacrifice uh, map tokens or treasure tokens or whatever, just remember that. All right, nine minutes is more than enough. I won't stop talking now. <laughs>
<laughs> that goes a very freaking much. You know? There was a lot of things I want to explain about tech. The rest you will see during the games. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you in those masterful games. The master of Mono Black is back to prove once and for all Mono Black is the best. As long as we're not up against Mono Red going first, we're fine here. Ooh, Souls of the Lost here now. Let's bring it down. It's this card, Aglazots. I mean, it's okay. It's fine. I can live with it. What you got here for me, my friend? Nothing. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay. All right. So. What are you, by the way? Are you soldiers? Control? I bet they control. Sunfall? The one card that will destroy our existence. Please, mill me. Please do so. Please. I beg of you. Nope. Was. Okay. Here's the corpse of the lost now. Mill? Actually pretty good for us, you know? <laughs> Actually pretty good. So we will see how this turns out. Plus wanting it again, okay. And... The thing is I can just sack the Field of Ruin. Sunset Revelry. Don't seem to have lands. I am doing this now. Still attacking the Jace. Alright. And I'm keeping up my fanatical offering here. I would like that. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. So. We're looking pretty good here still, you know? I mean... What are they doing? Milling us again? They're milling us again! Uh, they're milling us here! Okay, those were all cards I'm fine with losing. Not gonna lie about it. Not gonna freaking lie about it. Okay. You come up again. They can't find lands, which you know... Not even sad about it. Alright, so... Still a big old soul of the Losts here. Um, we will see how they're doing now. They do have the board wipe. If they do have another Jace, maybe? Or another freaking uh, Sunset Revelry? Nope, they're just destroying this. Okay. Fine with me. Let's try to find some more land here, shall we? What do you have for one mana? What? Elspeth Smite? Get out of here, man. <laughs> Get far, far out of here, man. What in a tarnation. Alright, they found the Iron Crag. Let us just attack in. Let them do the work, you know? Ooh, that is super saucy. Super freaking saucy. We'll be getting rid of a bit of triumph here. Them not having cards, me having all the cards, absolutely what I want. There is a Sunfall, just as I expected it to be. Memory Delugio, okay. You still need like one or two more lands here, you know. There is one. Let's draw here first. Another fanatical offering. Um, let's get rid of the hostel. I don't need it anymore. We all have things we'd rather. And whatever they do, I will just draw more and more and more. So that is kind of fine, you know? And I have like two more turns to get rid of my Lady Yana. If they cannot do that, well then toughest luck is body coppest. I also still have duresses that I wonder where they are. Oh, they have another freaking um, sunset revelry here coming down. 
Oh, a third memory deluge. Okay, that is also kind of fine, you know? Nothing I can do about it, is there now? Alright. But what is a grand freaking scheme here, my friend? Fateful absence. Okay, that is still kind of fine. Not interested in dying today. Kinda still fine here. Let us bring down Shadrid now. Punish them for drawing cards. Starving Revenant. Super good. Super darn good. Super darn freaking good here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They could have anything, you know? Get rid of Shadwit here. Drawing two cards. Okay. I think with the Starving Revenant we get him. I think we do, right? One, two... They lose life, so it's okay. Let me see here. Let me freaking see here. <gasps> no, I don't win yet. But I am very close. I'm very, very darn freaking close. Okay, alright. We're like one or two mana off. But it's still fine, it's still fine. They don't have another board wipe here. We just win, right? Sacrifice the map. With the fanatical offering, you know? That is another two here. Oh, oh! Starving Revenant! Out of freaking nowhere! Oh my lord! That was everything I want a mono black deck to be. We're back in the bigger freaking diamond. Oh, oh, I never, I like, I was like, you know, let's try the Revenant. But you're now absolutely insane. Get freaking out of here. We're up against Haquinus. <gasps> Krimus. Yes, Krimus. Born Krimus. The day of Krimus is here. We also have like the perfect start into Freebooter, into Souls of the Lost, which is always good. Always freaking good. But we will see if we're even doing that. If they like slam down a creature here, we can also just... Okay, they don't. Um, still doing it. Uh, sacrifice a permanent. This cry is just too good. Yeah, I want that. Really, really want that. So. <gasps> what a surprise. It's dinosaurs. Oh, I totally did not see that coming. I'm sorry. I had to say it like this. In that case, let's get rid of you. No ramp for you today, my friend. No ramp whatsoever. This can get out of control real freaking quick. So, yeah, I absolutely have to do it like this. Papieri Stomperino is fine with me. I mean, it's still a ramp, but it's still fine with me, you know. It's not the worst kind of ramp. Okay. So we will see how this turns out, but the Preacher of the Schism is a very, very nice blocker here. And also like a very nice attacker at the same time. So, you know, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. So, Aquinius, what are you doing? Are you even here? They are. No blocks. Can have that for now. I shall allow it. A 
Another soul of the lost. Ooh, but a bit of triumph is super good here. Let's keep that for now. See what they're doing. I would have to discard a card, though. Another one of those suckers, eh? Uh, let's discard one of the Terratites. I think that that is fine. Liliana, eh? Well, first things first, we're attacking in. Now we have this little vampire dude. We also have another Soul of the Lost. I'm discarding this Field of Ruin. Okay, ending the turn here. We're still very much in danger, you know? Still very much. I have to think about this as well, though, soon. I mean, they're down on eight. They have one blocker here. Depending on how I block, I can also, like, kind of wipe the board. So we will see how this turns out. Tranquil Frill back. Come on. The perfect answer to my Soul of the Lost. The perfect freaking answer. Unreal. <laughs> kind of unreal. Wait, they didn't get rid of my graveyard? Why? Why did you not get rid of my graveyard? Okay. And in that case, let's draw some cards. Another gigs. Let's do this first. Another land. Getting rid of this now. I'm still super scared. It's not like I'm not, you know. It's attacking only with you now. <gasps> that is super good. That is like super, super good. In that case, discard a card, please. I am discarding one of my Gixxes. Holy smokes! He just blocked it! <laughs> Alright! Yay, for us, I guess! Souls of the Lost! Oh my lord, I'm like in super hardcore thinking mode here. Oh, what are you discarding, my friend? Ooh, Delta. Yeah, that, that's not good if you have no hand. That is seriously not good if you don't have a hand. What are these games, man? Like, if they do have... Okay, what is this? And why is this? Another fanatical offering. You what? Know I'm thinking about wiping the board here anyways. Let's get rid of gigs. Right, beautiful. Terror Tide. Okay. Map token. Is there anything but a land? No, it's another land. Okay. All right. But at least you know we can discard this land and attack him for two. All right. It's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> Liliana is a huge fan of the Souls of the Lost. That is what I learned. And they scoop! Oh, the master of mono black is in the house, man. You can come and knock on my door. I will spit in your eyeball. Spit in your eyeball. Spit in your damn eyeball, man. <laughs> We're up against the Grim Portent. Opponents going first. I do like our hand here, though, you know? It's an okay hand. 
See what we're up against. Dinosaurs. It's dinosaurs all day. All day freaking dinosaurs. Uh, I will be going... Oh, it's not. Okay, hidden necropolis it is. So I have answers here. On with the duress, see what they're doing. You're a fight rigging deck. A <laughs> freaking fight rigging deck. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go with the Terra Sunder because it can get rid of my virtue, which I wouldn't like. They're not a fight rigging. They're a um, forced fight deck, is what they are. But sooner or later, they will just have nothing, you know. Because I am mono freaking black, my friend. Whatever you bring down here, I do have answers. I do have freaking answers. And here they are. The answers. I hope you like them answers. I hope you like them. So you're kind of out of stuff to do now, aren't ya? Freaking aren't ya? So, what will I be doing here? First of all, make you discard some more. Second of all, play another Liliana. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You're forced fighting! Then suck it, man! Okay. Do you think they have more forced fighting? They do. Okay, alright. You know, <laughs> sometimes it's just be like that. Alright, so, uh, I am getting rid of the fanatical offering here. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather. And then I'm... Hmm... Second Liliana. Passing the turn. I feel like we're still fine, you know? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? Don't you know what the send is? It doesn't look like you do know what the send is. Okay, alright. I mean, hey, I'm just attacking in here. Not even scared of it, you know? Not even freaking scared of it. Uh, bringing down Necropolis. Two, four, five, six. Yeah, we're one away here. They want to attack him. That's fine. Totally fine. I am the one who knocks, you know? But, bruh, just get rid of my permanence. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's do this first. I want to keep this kind of... Okay. Um... Screw it. No virtue today. <laughs> no freaking virtue today. <laughs> Man, forced fighting, really? That people are still trying to make that work. That is crazy to me. That is absolutely freaking crazy to me. So, still forced fighting? Okay, alright. Yep. That just makes my things bigger, you know? Absolutely f way freaking bigger. What are you doing, man? Okay, if you now at least go ahead and just like, you know, get rid of stuff that I own, that would be fine. But the thing is that you're still dying on a backlash. So this is 12 right now. Minus 4 is still 8. So, tough as luck is body coppiced. Still too late. Still too late. Oh wait, they're going to 9. Alright. It didn't Get rid of creatures. Did not get rid of creatures. Why am I playing against a buffoon here? Why am I... <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but maybe you shouldn't have wished from the monkey paw 
to turn into a monkey yourself. What was this game, man? Try using your brains. If you try to defeat the master of Mono Black while well, you play Mono Black with extra steps, well, then I have one message for you. Get out of here. I'm sorry to every monkey out there. <gasps> Crimmers, yes, and look at the hand. It's like good old times, you know, where you had like this shambly boy into the other. That's just delicioso. Just deli freaking delicioso. We're up against Danish guy. Okay. Okay, Danish. All right, mulliganing down to five. I like that. Go ahead, give me more. The master of evil commands you, man. Give me more. All right, here's the free booty. One, two, three, four, five. Stay really mulligan down to five. They just drew the card here. Oh, the mono red. Okay, well, I mean, hey, you know, that's just peach -a dory, isn't it? Peach a freaking dory, isn't it? No blocks. Not a freebooter now. Okay, that's fine. No block still. Can still block one of those suckers. Bloodthirsty adversary. You know what? You know what? I will be making myself two treasures here. And cry twice. And get myself freaking... Liliana is pretty good. Liliana is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie about it. My turn. So the question now, though, is... I think Shadrid is still it. I think that Shadrid is still it. Nice. Thanks, my friend. Thanks. You're mono red. You deserve all the unpleasantries that can happen to you. All of them. Freaking all of them. So, what you got here? Nothing, still just slamming in, okay. No blocks. You think I'm falling for your lightning strike? You can think twice, my friend. I hope I do draw another land here, though. I did draw another land. That is just so beautiful. I love every single thing about it. I mean, who's the aggressor now? Yes, they're slamming in for two. Oh no, two. Oh, whatever will I do? Sadly, this is an enchantment, not an artifact. So six more rounds and we win. <laughs> if they cannot beat us in six rounds, we just win. Okay, all right. They're even slamming in with everything because they just don't care anymore. What? Come on, get out of here. Get freaking out of here. That was unreasonable and you know it. Freaking unreasonable and you freaking know it. Okay, we're still slamming in there, you know? Unfreaking reasonable and you freaking know it. All right. You do that, my friend. Could not care less. You sack here now. Like, this is the worst hand I could have. <laughs> this is the worst hand I could have. Not even lying about it. They found their third land. Holy smokes, a god rig now even. <laughs> worst hand ever, man. What will I find here? Gix is pretty good. Let's just hope they don't have another lightning strike, otherwise I would be sad. Looks like they do, though. Squee. They're just slamming in with everything. Just freaking slamming in with everything. Okay. Let's hope to find a land here. Ask and you shall receive, my friends. Ask and you shall receive. Now we just need to survive until next turn. Do you think they have another witch stalker's frenzy here? Do you think they have it? Well, we will have to find out. Felden, Sheldon. No blocks. <laughs> what am I mad? <laughs> oh, Mono Red, you just. You know, get out of here.
hearing all of that jazz. Just get out of here. We're four to all right now. And one of those games was against Mono Red, so you can tell me whatever you want here. Opponent is going first. Do not like it too much, but I kind of do like our hand here. Let's keep it. Why, eh? Am I discarding something? Ooh. Okay, we're cooking here. We're cooking. So the thing is that uh, I think Liliana here is the best thing to do. And I don't honestly don't think that I need this. Well, getting rid of the free booty here is pretty darn good. Yeah, I think that that is the right call. I think it is the rightest call. So let us see what they're doing. Wedding announcement. Okay, all right. Let us see if you're a blocker kind of guy. Are you a blocker kind of person? Paranoid devil? I mean, you know, there will be a point in time where I'm looking very tasty and you won't. You will be burnt to a crisp is what you will. Up, oh, they, they're afraid. Okay, all right. Let us see what your next freaking plan is here. Wandering Emperor? Do you, do you have a Wandering Emperor? Do you have a board wipe? Not a clay fired bricks, okay. So they have uh, Sunfalls. Skrelf's Hive. This is my Time to bring down the pain. <laughs> Off you go. Time to bring down the pain. And to those fools that don't know what time it is. And it is time. Bring pain. <laughs> I can just repeat that. <laughs> so you're wiping the board now. Rebel rousing. Rebel freaking rousing. That was unexpected to say the very darn least. I'm tired of your secret. To say the very darn least, that was very unexpected. Let's draw here. Maybe we even draw something worth our while. We did draw something worth our while. Okay, all right. Making another one of those dudes. You get out of here. Totally worth it. Might seem overkill. Totally freaking worth it. Them not having anything here. Totally freaking worth it. All totally freaking worth it. I'm slamming in here with both. It's getting dangerous for you, my friend. It's getting very, very dangerous for you. Make him discard one of their cards. I'm discarding my gigs. Was a land. Okay. Alright. They will be drawing here. They will not be making themselves another creature. Not a Scrawl's Hive. Eklazotst, okay. Kinda need to be blocking with everything here, right? They even can't. Depending on what they do here, just die, you know? But what is even going on here? Um, discard you. Bring down you as well. Just to make certain, you know? You can both go down into the rabbit hole. 
So they cannot poison us. And they lose. Oh, you're right, this crab's hive. <laughs> I forgot about this crab's hive. You know, I don't even need to use my brains. Five. The freaking Owen Mono Black, my friends. Nothing can stop us, especially not Mono White. What are you thinking? We have time for one last game here. We will see. Can we go undefeated? Oh, my lord. Christmas. Yes. Christmas. And I like the head, even though it's a little bit slow. But as long as they're not Mono Red going first, you know, we have a good chance anyways. All right. It's Mono Black. I don't like that at all. Not even ever so slightly. Here comes their Liliana, I guess. But it just straight up remove it. Yup, straight up just remove it. Alrighty. There's their Liliana now. There is their Liliana now. Yeah, this isn't looking good at all. They just sack it with the Liliana here. They even have more removal. Come on, dude. Game. Game. Don't be like this. There is no need to be like this. Like, none whatsoever. Zero need to be like this. Zero. Come on, give me the destroy planeswalker thing. Give it to me. Gigs. <gasps> now I want to keep the Takenuma. I was. Stupid here, just stupid. Like, come on, man, really. They've played nothing else but lands, Lilianas, and removal. What the hell, man? What the hell? Drop it. Even had another one. They even had another one. Look at this. Come on, give me my removal, please. Just do it, game. Do it. Or one of the skeletons. Give me the skeletons. Thank you all so very much. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord. So it's top deck city, eh? Eclazots is nice. Even if they destroyed here. Go ahead. Four infernal grasps. And oh my lord, you're playing more than okay. Alright. Playing more than what I thought you played. No cost. You will serve me well. Alrighty. Tenacious underdog, okay. Alright, that is all still fine with me. All still freaking fine with me. I want him to have nothing at all. Like literally freaking nothing. Literally freaking nothing. Okay, so I will lose my Liliana here, but that is fine. Because they're losing all of this life all the freaking time. Totally fine. Whatever. Luck favors the foolish after all. Okay, please give me something good here. No land, no land, no land. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that sucks a lot. Alright. The duress. I will keep this land in hand, though, just so that they think that maybe I do have something. Are you discarding? Their second. One of your friends has to leave. Okay. All right. We're still on twenty. They're on eight. I just threw another freaking land, man. How many more, game? How many more? They even have a Shadrach's Edict in hand. So. Where of your trespasser is okay. Are you using your Liliana, though? They are using their Liliana. I'm tired of your secrets. 
Okay. So I will be drawing a card here. Ooh, that is so good. That is uh, so good. Oh, screw you, my friend. Screw you. Okay. So I will be drawing a card here. Corpses of the Lost is amazingly good. Nothing more. I cannot use that, though. So they cannot be attacking in anymore. Holy smokes, man. This game started off like cursed. Four Infernal Grasp. Four of them. Just like that. Just like freaking that. Okay. Yeah, you can have that. I don't care about that. All I care about... It's doing you freaking dirty, my friend. Doing you freaking dirty. Ooh, it was a land! Oh no, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Because I enjoyed a lot. Like, what was this start? Trying to defeat the Master of Mono Black with Mono Black. At least try one new card. At least one, you know? One new card. All you need to do. Just one new card. Yeah, they're going back to four. Okay, I'm still on 22, so I don't care. <laughs> Just... <gasps> that is right, man! Trying to defeat the Master! Of Mono Black with Mono Black? Are you crazy, man? I will smush you in my hands and all of your dirty water that is the sponge of society that you are, man, will fizzle down on my face and I will be drinking it because I'm dirty, just like you, playing Mono Black. That is right. And that, my friends, is the fruit of the day, the sponge of society. My wind streaks are getting slightly out of control. I don't know what is going on, man. I really don't know what is going on. I just, you know, <laughs> just wait for tomorrow's video. <laughs> it's getting all slightly out of hand. Maybe it's because it's like so close to the end of the season. I don't know. All of that could be a reason, but hey, you know, I will not be complaining. I'm very, very happy. I didn't think that, uh, you know, I could rank this much this season uh, because so much to do, so much work, so many different decks that I have to try and new season and everything. So sometimes you lose a lot of rank with a deck that you thought maybe it could work out, but in the end it didn't even work out at all. So yeah, all of that, things that might freaking happen. But hey, we're here. We're here and I'm happy for it and the deck worked very freaking well. I'm not even looking at it. I'm looking at my window, but still, you know, <laughs> I want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons and members. This all will be fixed very freaking soon. Don't you worry about that. Um, I don't know when, but it will be as soon as I can. Trust me, it's not because I don't want to. It's because I just have no freaking time for that. I couldn't even fix my green screen yet, put it in a position where I want it to be. You know, all of that. Just a lot of personal things happening right now. And uh, yeah, that is just the way it freaking is. Also, you know, you shout out to my sponsor and all of you patrons and members. And please, my friends, if you are still here, let me know by putting down a little Souls of Malone down below in the comments. Because aren't we all a little bit lost sometimes? <laughs> please remember that if you wake it up tomorrow morning and see the beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Matches Malone and I will see you all. Tomorrow!